OpenAI is seriously struggling to keep up with the latest advancements in AI. In fact, a new model from China, Ernie 4.5, just beat OpenAI's most powerful model, GPT 4.5, at a fraction of the cost. The headlines are everywhere. Ernie 4.5 beats GPT 4.5 on key tasks. Baidu's pricing stuns the market, and China accelerates in the global AI race. So what's actually going on? Let's break it down. In this video, we're digging into how Ernie 4.5 stacks up against GPT 4.5, where it wins, where it lags, and why its cost might force a global shift in how AI is built, used, and priced. If you'd like to explore Ernie 4.5, check out the first link in the description below. The global AI race just got a plot twist. For years, OpenAI's GPT models have dominated the AI conversation. GPT 3.5 launched in 2022. GPT 4 followed in 2023. And most recently, GPT 4.5, the current top tier offering on ChatGPT Plus, has raised the bar for reasoning, creativity, and coding. But while OpenAI has set benchmarks in performance, it hasn't exactly been cheap. Enterprise API usage, access to the most advanced GPT models, and premium subscriptions have made cutting-edge AI powerful, but expensive. Now Baidu, China's leading tech giant and creator of the Ernie model series, is publicly challenging that dominance. On March 16, 2025, Baidu released Ernie 4.5, their most advanced version yet. The announcement was made alongside another model, Ernie X1, which focuses on reasoning capabilities. But the spotlight quickly shifted to Ernie 4.5, thanks to its surprising performance across multiple AI benchmarks and, more importantly, its shockingly low cost. How Ernie 4.5 beat GPT 4.5? Let's start with what matters most, performance. According to Baidu's internal evaluations, Ernie 4.5 now matches or surpasses GPT 4.5 in multiple standard benchmarks. For instance, on MMLU, Massive Multitask Language Understanding, which evaluates general knowledge and reasoning across a range of subjects, Ernie 4.5 achieved a score of 87.3%, slightly ahead of GPT 4.5's reported 86.8%. On CMMLU, the Chinese version of the same test, Ernie performed especially well, scoring 85.2%, reflecting its strong grounding in bilingual or multilingual contexts. In math problem-solving tasks like GSM 8K, Ernie reportedly scored 89.6%, compared to GPT 4.5's 88%. When it comes to code generation and programming tasks, GPT 4.5 still holds an edge. In benchmarks such as Human Eval, which tests the ability to write functional code from prompts, GPT 4.5 remains ahead, suggesting that OpenAI's model is still better optimized for software development. Ernie 4.5 also underperforms slightly in common sense reasoning and open domain question answering, where GPT 4.5's fine tuning on broader English data sets appears to give it an advantage. But the overall difference is small, and in most tasks, Ernie is now competitive. The multimodal advantage. One of Ernie 4.5's most notable upgrades is its multimodal capability. While GPT 4.5 supports image and text inputs in ChatGPT's latest version, Ernie 4.5 is trained to process and generate across text, image, audio, and video, offering full-spectrum multimodal support natively. According to Baidu's demo and technical briefings, Ernie 4.5 can understand a video clip, summarize it, answer questions about its content, and even generate new video or image outputs. All from a single prompt window, the model can describe images in fine detail, recognize objects and scenes, and generate related content on demand. This goes beyond traditional multimodal support. It reflects Baidu's push toward real-world AI agents capable of navigating tasks that involve more than just language. Think virtual assistants that can watch a video tutorial and teach it back or AI co-pilots that can understand a screen recording and give visual instructions. While OpenAI has rolled out limited video understanding capabilities via Whisper for Audio and GPT-4 with Vision, Ernie 4.5 appears more deeply integrated across these modes. That said, full independent verification from third-party benchmarks is still limited at the time of writing. The shocking cost difference. Now for the part that has the entire AI ecosystem on alert, 
Pricing Baidu has released the official pricing structure for Ernie 4.5 via its MOS platform Kianfan, their enterprise AI cloud suite. The cost, $0.55 cents per million input tokens and $2.20 per million output tokens. In contrast, OpenAI's GPT 4.5, used via the API under the model ID GPT 4-0125 preview, is priced at $75 per million input tokens and $150 per million output tokens, based on OpenAI's official pricing as of March 2025. That makes Ernie 4.5 roughly 30 to 70 times cheaper than GPT 4.5 for most enterprise and developer use cases. The pricing gap is just as noticeable on the consumer side. While Baidu offers Ernie Bot access to individuals for free, OpenAI's GPT 4.5 is accessible through ChatGPT Plus at $20 per month and via ChatGPT Pro at $200 per month, which offers higher usage tiers and priority access. These numbers aren't theoretical. They're already live across Baidu's commercial and developer services. According to Baidu, this aggressive pricing strategy is a deliberate move to accelerate the adoption of large language models across industries, especially in regions and sectors with tight budgets. Baidu's Playbook for the Future of AI When Baidu released Ernie 4.5, it wasn't just about a better model. It was a move that fits into a much larger strategy from CEO Robin Lee, one that prioritizes rapid iteration, multimodal dominance, and ultra-low pricing. At the World Government Summit in February of this year, Robin Lee made it clear that AI has to be cheaper to be useful at scale. He noted that even if models are powerful, businesses can't deploy them widely unless inference costs drop significantly. He stated, But today, when we talk about uh, large language models, inference costs basically reduce, can be reduced by more than 90% over 12 months. Robin Lee also emphasized that Ernie models are fully developed in-house, from model architecture to data processing and deployment systems. A model of full-stack AI capability that Baidu has highlighted in recent updates. By controlling every layer of the development pipeline, software, training infrastructure, and system-level optimization, Baidu is able to reduce costs, improve deployment efficiency, and accelerate iteration. This integrated approach plays a key role in enabling Ernie 4.5's low pricing model and rapid upgrade cycle. Meanwhile, the AI model itself has been trained using both Chinese and English datasets, with improvements in retrieval augmented generation, agent-based task completion, and multimodal grounding. This is where Ernie's value proposition shifts. It's not just a chatbot or a text model. It's meant to serve as a general purpose, API first, business-facing AI system, and it's priced accordingly. To clarify, this video is a sponsored collaboration between Baidu and AI Uncovered. While it is sponsored, we've made sure to provide an unbiased breakdown of how this tool works. Our focus is on delivering accurate, research-based insights to help you understand how Baidu's Ernie 4.5 operates and whether it's a fit for your needs. Why this matters beyond China? While Ernie 4.5 is a Chinese-built model, the implications aren't confined to one country. AI is now a global infrastructure, and any change in pricing, performance, or model design affects the entire ecosystem. The fact that Ernie 4.5 is matching or even outperforming GPT 4.5 on some key benchmarks raises real questions. What happens if more companies, governments, or even startups begin shifting to cheaper, high-performing alternatives? What does this mean for the pricing models of OpenAI, Google Gemini, or Claude? Until now, OpenAI has largely set the pricing pace in the West, but Baidu's latest move could accelerate the commoditization of LLMs, where price-to-performance ratios become the primary driver of adoption. This also places pressure on open-source LLM projects like Mistral, DeepSeek, and Meta's LLama which aim to provide high-quality models outside of big tech. Ernie's release adds urgency to those efforts, especially as Baidu is offering API access to Ernie through Chenfan, its model-as-a-service MOS platform, similar to how OpenAI delivers GPT access via API. What Ernie 4.5 still can't do While Ernie 4.5 shows strong capabilities across many areas, 
it's not without limitations. While Ernie is powerful in both English and Chinese, independent third-party benchmarks outside of China are still limited. Most of Baidu's performance data comes from in-house tests, which while useful, need more global peer-reviewed validation for a full picture. Also, access to Ernie remains limited in Western markets. While developers in China can already use the Chenfan platform, API rollout across global cloud providers hasn't fully materialized. This limits adoption for international developers and enterprises, at least for now. Still, the fact that Baidu is releasing multilingual, multimodal, agent-ready AI models on a fast release schedule is something competitors are watching closely. OpenAI's current position in the market response. So how has OpenAI responded? As of now, OpenAI hasn't publicly commented on Ernie 4.5, but recent moves suggest the company is aware of the shifting landscape. In late 2024, OpenAI launched GPT-4 Turbo, a faster and more cost-efficient variant of GPT-4, which is now the default in ChatGPT+. GPT-4 Turbo offers a 128K token context window and reduced latency. But even with these improvements, the cost remains significantly higher than Baidu's offerings. Meanwhile, OpenAI has been working on team and enterprise versions of ChatGPT, suggesting a push toward broader enterprise adoption. Yet affordability remains a concern, especially for startups and small companies trying to deploy large models at scale. It's also worth noting that other Chinese companies are moving fast. Tencent, Alibaba, and Jipu AI have all launched foundation models of their own. Baidu is currently leading the benchmark race, but it's not alone. The broader takeaway? The AI race is no longer just about performance. It's about performance per dollar. And right now, Baidu is leading that metric. Where the race goes next. So, where does this leave us? Ernie 4.5's launch adds fuel to a growing shift in AI, a move away from closed, ultra-expensive models and toward faster, cheaper, multilingual, and multimodal systems. Whether you're a developer, business leader, or AI researcher, this shift matters. The global competition is accelerating, the cost of intelligence is dropping, and models are becoming more agentic, more sensory, and more affordable than ever before. Ernie 4.5 enters the landscape with distinct capabilities, architectural design, and a performance strategy that reflects Baidu's internal research priorities. As the AI space evolves rapidly, with new releases and improvements occurring on a monthly basis, ongoing competition continues to shape both innovation and accessibility across the global ecosystem. If you're ready to explore Ernie 4.5, Check out the first link in the description, and don't forget to check the pinned comment too for more details. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.